And we're back! This is Cintiq with my Let's Play of Terraria. Um, I put down like, if you look at the end of my last video, you'll see that I haven't used that much dirt between this one and that one, and already I'm seeing vines of a floating island. Um, but I don't think I have the resources on me to quite make it there. Uh, that's... Because I, I literally just found it. Um, yeah, I need I need to go get some resources, so we'll be right back with that. Oh, stupid slime! All right, onwards over this way. I don't think I'll need all that much. Ooh, it's Pinky. Gotta fight Pinky, cause Pinky drops a good amount of gold, and I'm trying I'm still trying to save up for that uh, miner's helmet. In my opinion, that's the most useful item to purchase. Gold coins, copper coins, silver coins. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> You know, this might be a good time to explore around this island and check out it for resources. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll uh, go right here. And then we'll put this back right here and you right there. And we'll dig down. Where's my light? I'll dig down a little bit more. Ooh! Resources, I like you. We like gold. So yeah, it seems to me that if you were just starting out, Cutting down some trees and making a uh, quick rush to the floating islands would be a good thing. Because you'd get some silver and gold ore really quick. And you could probably skip using iron tools at all. Uh, let's see here. probably have enough resources to make it to that island. As I say, I will cannibalize this island off screen. You guys don't need to be seeing me do that. Onwards we go, onwards we go, onwards across these... I don't know, I'm not a good singer. I have no song for you. Oh, you, you little... Yeah, all right. You know what would be really nice is uh, the lucky horseshoe um, because then I can fall safely or if I can't get a lucky horseshoe a magic mirror would be nice though technically you're, you can find magic mirrors in any dungeon or not dungeon I should say well you can find it there too but uh, any chest that you happen to find in the world but uh, a magic mirror would still be nice. Ooh, this island's got uh, sunflowers on it. Sunflowers are apparently really nice to have if you're fighting corruption. Though, as I'm not fighting corruption right now, I don't care at all about them, I guess. I guess they're also nice to make your lawn look nice. Yay! Yay! Ooh, and then there's some gold right there. Alright, let's see what's in this chest. Ah, oh, the lucky horseshoe! That's what I've been wanting. Some lesser healing. Oh, like I need more of those. Um, some gold right there. Um, it's a... Let's 
go ahead and get the gold. So what I really need right now is, in addition to that mirror that I want, I would like the double jump ability, because then not only can I jump really high because of the balloon, but then I can do a double jump right at the top and go even higher. Or, if I'm falling down, I'm completely safe from damage from with the aid of the lucky horseshoe. Uh, but if you don't have a lucky horseshoe and you can get the uh, ability to get the double jump. The double jump is a really handy way for uh, what I want to try to say for negating fall damage because right at the bottom you would do your second jump. Oh, almost uh, dug out the spot of standing on. All right, let's test out this lucky horseshoe. Whee! There's a reason why I'm doing that. I want to see how close to the end of the world I am. Is there a point to continue extending my bridge? Because if the dungeon is to my left, then yes, I do want to continue to extend my bridge. Um, but if it's to my right, then I want to no longer continue extending my bridge because it's far enough. Because there's nothing that's over here. Except possibly resource. Ooh, the dungeon. So, yeah. Cool. We found the dungeon. Apparently, he talks to this old man at nighttime and he turns into a uh, beast of destruction. And that's what you do to get access to the dungeon. If you try to go into the dungeon without fighting him, uh, he kills you in one hit or something like that. So, that does not sound like something I want to have happen right now. I am woefully unprepared for dealing with the old man. So yeah, it does look like I want to extend the bridge a little bit. Um, I suppose... Oh, come on. But there's no rush to do that because, as I say, I'm unprepared for fighting the old man. I will extend the bridge when I am closer to being prepared of actually being able to win that fight. And that's going to require a better set of gears than a pair of iron pants and, and, a, and a copper set of armor. This, the sword I have might be enough to defeat him because it is a gold sword after all but I need more hearts too I don't want to fall down the pit there we go there's nothing down those pits I want to see right now Though, it would be safe for me to jump down them, and that I wouldn't die getting down to the bottom, but I definitely need a grappling hook to be able to get out of those pits. Come on, turn around! Oh, I don't think I have the ability to, uh, make a jump across this pit. Let's, uh... Oh, this is a really long pit. I, oh, I do have some dirt. There we go. Oh. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah. Grass, it hurts. Okay, we're, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good, guys. 
All right, I think I need to extend this dirt over a little bit. There we go. Potion. There we go. All right. Oh, no. All right, guys. Um, Who's got ideas for how to get me out of this pit without dying? Uh, can I put things... Ooh, I can. I can put dirt on the wall. That's a good sign. Um, that wasn't a deep pit. Okay. That wasn't as bad as it could have been. And let's see here. We want... Uh, no, we didn't want a dirt block there. There we go. I don't want to play with you, whatever you are, eater of souls. Oh, this is where I died earlier. Come on. Ah. Oh. All right. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh Okay, they they're they're a little stupid and they can't get past this. So Extend my dirt up right here. And Ooh, that's a lot of mushrooms over there. Let's get those. Whee. Out of the corruption. Well, not quite yet. I mean, I'm past the corrupt area. Yeah. No. No. Oh, it's not that deep. It's just deep enough that I'm stuck underwater. There we go. Oh my god! There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, crap. Uh, uh. I'm dead. Yeah, there we go. You were slain. Oh, that was unfortunate. Oh, I hate I hate deep water like that that I can't get out of. Oh. 
Uh, and after getting out of that corruption, that's that's just sad. Let's uh see how I'm doing with resources. Gold bars. Lots and lots of gold bars. And uh silver bars. And let's see here, what else can we do with my resources? I don't have enough gold to make a gold pickaxe. Matter of fact, I don't have enough gold to really do anything. Um, I don't have enough silver either. Okay, let's just put away my resources. Gold. Um, silver. And put my stars over here. Silver, I thought I put the silver in there. There we go. We'll tidy up the inventory in just a moment. I thought I heard a star come down over this direction. Maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, I'm mistaken. All right. Well, that's going to be this is going to be let's see here. Uh well, hmm. What can I do with you guys right now? I mean, I've got some inventory management to do, and do you guys really want to see me do that? Uh, I don't think you guys really do, but who knows? You guys are some strange people sometimes. Um, got some mushrooms here. Tidy up things a little bit. Um, vile mushrooms. Vile mushrooms are nice. Rotten chunks are nice. Let's uh, put both of those away, though. All right, um, but yeah, I think I'm going to do some inventory management off screen. This is going to be a shorter episode than some of my other ones because I don't really have a plan for what to do when I'm done with the inventory management. And so once I come up with a plan, that will be its own episode. So I'll talk to you all later and you guys be sure to tune in for the next episode. Out. Alright, I know I said that I was ending the episode there, but I'm just coming back a little bit to show you that uh, I came up here to the platform. I'm going to cannibalize all this stuff off camera. I found a few stars while running around. I decided that uh, since it's nighttime, I'll focus on uh, seeing if I can gather some stars up on this platform. Nothing amazing has happened because um, I'm just running back and forth, jumping past enemies like that when they come into view. And as you can see, I've found six falling stars, and I've actually found 16, because I'm already up to uh, uh, another star here. And there's there's another star there, so this has been going well for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing this for a little bit while it's nighttime, and then as I say, I'm going to go cannibalize all three of those islands, making sure I've gotten every last little bit of resource off of them. And then I will uh, come back on with hopefully some nice new equipment. And so yeah, that's what I had to tell you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm out again. And so see you guys in the next episode.